Good morning, guys. It's around 8.20. This is what my store is looking like today. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle and I'm the owner and creator of The Eighth Salt. It is my handmade small business where I make and sell scrunchies and hair accessories. In today's video, I'll be bringing you all along with me to my regular Saturday weekly market today. I have traded at this market for a very long time. Um, I have traded there since the beginning of February last year, so February 2022. And I've traded there every single Saturday since. Um, that was prior to taking a little break from markets. If you saw my last one or two vlogs, I have taken a little break from markets and we are now starting to um, begin to get back into markets. So I'll be bringing you all along with me for the day today. This particular market, it is a farmer's market. So it does start pretty early at 8 a.m. and runs until 2 p.m. The majority of the market is fruit and veggies, fresh fruit and veggies, um, flowers, hot food. Um, there's a whole heap of bakeries um, with fresh bread and pastries and sweets. And then there's also a small retail section, which was an addition to the market. And that is the section that we will be trading in. You did see my last market vlog. This market has just undergone a really, really big layout change. So we are in a different spot to where we usually are. We were allocated a fixed permanent position there at the beginning of the year. Um, as we do trade there quite regularly well every single weekend so we are in a different spot today so we will see what that looks like when we get there because I've not actually traded in that spot before but the market itself is under a very large fixed canopy the whole market trades under that canopy um, which means we don't need to have our gazebo today which is always awesome and always a plus for me as I do trade um, and attend markets on my own. So not having to pack, carry um, and put up a gazebo and manage it throughout the day is always a plus for me and one less thing that I have to do and manage throughout the day. So that is always a plus. The whole market um, is situated under that canopy and it is kind of broken up into sections with the florist the fruit and veg, um, the hot food section on one end, and then the retail is now towards the middle, whereas previously it was towards the front of the market. Uh, well, well, there's not really a front and back, it's just at one of the ends of the market. So that is always a plus for us. The market itself does attract quite a lot of patrons. It is situated within the entertainment quarter in Sydney. Um, which houses a lot of um, functions and events. There is a very large prestigious dance school there. There's a cinema, there's a concert pavilion, there's a football field. Um, it holds Fox Studios, which films for television and a whole bunch of nice restaurants and cafes as well. So there is quite a large um, number of patrons who do come through the market and it is also a very family orientated market as well because it is a farmer's market a lot of the foot traffic is towards the morning um, and then it kind of trickles down and gets a little quieter in the afternoon so the last time I was there we were pretty late um, the market began at 8 so yeah we we were quite late we are a little late today but nowhere near as late as we were last time so that is a plus for today um it is around 6 a.m just after 6 um, and i usually aim to get there between 6 30 and 7. usually by now i have already headed out but we will be aiming to get there at 7 a.m which will give us an hour to set up our stall which is usually more than enough time when I don't need to set up my gazebo. Yesterday evening, well, yesterday day, I packed my car for the for this weekend's markets as I usually do on Fridays. Um, and I just went ahead and packed my regular stock, which I usually have been taking. 
and didn't really think to swap out all my winter things for um, our spring collection and my Christmas stock as well, which I have been making and sewing away um, to get done. So yeah, that wasn't great. Um, yeah, I just kind of went through my stock as I usually did and just went on autopilot and um, topped everything up that needed to be topped up and then packed it all in my car and completely, I don't know, forgot about my um, spring and summer stock and my Christmas stock as well because we are in the first week, well, we're actually in the second week of November. So we definitely need to get our Christmas stock out. As you can see there, I went ahead last night um, at about 11 a.m. and <laughs> packed all my Christmas stock in the basket. And then this container is filled with summer, Christmas and um, my spring collection as well. So we will be needing to pack that in the car this morning. So that is an extra container and an extra basket that I do need to carry in and out of the market today. It was around 11 p.m. last night when I realized I needed to pack all of that. Um, so yeah, it was a pretty late night, but we got it done. I ended up uh, taking me about 35, 40 minutes to, to get that all packed. Because, yeah, I had been sewing it and getting it made and then just packed it in a container and it was kind of out of sight, out of mind. So it is now all packed and ready for today. But, yeah, so it'll be two trips to the car this morning because I obviously need to carry in my marker bag and my coffee and a few other things. And then, obviously, those containers and that container and the basket as well um so yeah i'll need to find some room for that in my car which should be okay i'll probably end up having it on the front seat where i usually keep my bag and things but we'll work it out that shouldn't be a problem but yeah we are a little tired today and a tiny bit late today because of that but should be okay our setup is obviously going to take us a lot longer than usual because i will need to sort out all the stock this morning while i'm setting it up at the market um, I'll be swapping out the winter range for the spring collection um, and I'll also be needing to make room for all the Christmas stock as well and then all the winter stock and things that um, I'll be packing away I'll put in that container to bring back with me with all the other stock and I'll separate it that way so we will be needing to do that this morning so that's obviously going to take some time um, and be in addition to the time that I usually need to set up my stall. So I was aiming to get there a little earlier today, but yeah, so we are going to be a little late again today. But I mean, yeah, that's just how it's going to be for today and the last market as well. So um, we do need to head out soon, but this is the fit for today. So just chilled and comfy. I'm just in a basic white tee from Bonds. I'm in some linen black pants from um, Glaçons, I think it's pronounced. And then my shoes are slides from Jo Mercer. They're the Hendrix slides. Um, yeah, I don't usually wear slides at markets, actually very rarely wear slides at markets, but because this market is under a fixed canopy and I don't need to set up my gazebo, it is one of the few markets that I can wear slides at, so we will be taking advantage of that today. I do usually wear closed sh toed shoes and sneakers to markets because of that, but we will be able to get away with that today since we, we don't need our gazebo, so... I'm going to take full advantage of that um, and wear the slides today. It is um, about 29, well, it will be hitting 29 degrees today, 29 degrees Celsius. We are in Sydney. I keep on dropping my phone. The camera angles are not great this morning, but yeah, it's scheduled to be 29 degrees Celsius today, which is pretty, pretty hot. So that is why I opted for the slides as well, but we do need to head out now. So... We will be heading downstairs to make and pack some tea and a coffee as well and to make some breakfast because I'm already a little hungry. So 
yeah we'll be making a coffee um a tea and i'll also be making some quick oats as well and packing some fruit for the oats um and then we will most likely be buying our lunch from the market as well so that is the plan for today i was thinking of bringing my laptop to get some work done um but yeah because it, it is under the canopy but it is still very much an outdoor market so i don't really want my camera um i don't really want my laptop out in the elements obviously all day so probably not gonna do that i did want to bring it to get some work done and be a little advanced um, more ahead on my editing and things but definitely not ideal for an outdoor market so probably just gonna leave that here um, and find some other time to get that work done but yeah because it is quite hot i have packed some 50 plus sunscreen for us today just in case as well because we definitely don't want to get any sunburns today i was sitting out in the sun a couple days ago just to get some work done and get some fresh air and i was sitting in the shade actually and then the sun kind of moved and followed me um, and i found myself sitting in the sun and ended up getting a bit of a tan um which is not ideal but uh, well um yeah so i've packed that sunscreen to take with us i'll have it in my marker bag just in case um but yeah so it's about 10 past six ish now so we will be heading downstairs now and then i will see you all when we get to the market
morning guys it's around 8 20 8 25 at the moment and i've just finished setting up my store a couple minutes ago so we were a little late with our setup this morning which we knew from early on this morning um yeah i usually get here around 7 a.m but i ended up getting here obviously a little 
got later at 7.15 um, and then of course I needed to swap out all my winter stuff for the spring and summer collections and also make room for our Christmas range as well so yeah we did um, finish setting up our store a little later than usual usually by this time I've made about um, 8.20, 8.25 I've usually already made a sale and if you know, you know I'm usually pretty early with arriving at my markets but yeah, we were late today, but nowhere near as late as we were um, last weekend. Um, I don't know what's happening with my hair today. It's a little dry and a little untamed, but it's a little problematic. We need to get that tamed really soon, but anyway. Um, so, my store is set up at the moment. Um, I actually wasn't able to display some of my um, Christmas scrunchies. I had a whole bunch of um, us. Uh, buddy E tussles um, one moment I've actually just got a couple customers in front of me so I'll check back in with you in a second okay so I just made one of my bigger sales ever which was pretty awesome um, they bought a couple of the fluffy first scrunchies as well which I'm pretty glad I still displayed because I mean it is nearly 30 degrees Celsius today so um, I was debating whether to um, display them um, and still have them out so pretty glad I did because she bought two of them um, and a whole bunch of other scrunchies and and some hair calls as well so that was pretty good it's around 8 30 at the moment 8 35 so that's pretty good for an um, early morning sale so definitely happy about that and hopefully it's a good sign for the rest of the day as well in terms of the trading um, I did tame my hair a little bit um, after that but still needs a lot more um, yeah it's definitely out of place but anyway we can fix that up a little later throughout the day but um, yeah, as I was mentioning, we did um, arrive a little late today and obviously um, with rearranging a bit of my display, it did take us a little longer than usual. So um, I finished setting up my store around quarter past, 20 past eight and usually by that time, um, I'm obviously definitely already set up. I usually finish setting up around 10 to or 5 to 8. We definitely weren't as late as our last market here. So. But um, as you would have seen as well when I was setting up, we are in a different spot. So when I was here in our last vlog, I was um, behind me facing the other way. So this time we are on the other side and facing the market. And I've got a fruit and veg store in front of me as well. But we are in the retail section. Um, and then I had some bakery stores next to me on this side. And they are um, um, next to the fruit and veg section in front of me now because there's a few more retail stores out today. Um, because of the Christmas season, a lot of the Christmas um, retailers um, who have a lot of Christmas stock are here today. So there's a lot more retail here today than there was in our last market vlog. So that is um, always a good thing for us retailers because it makes the section a little bigger um, and we are therefore not in the mix with the bakeries and the food products and things like that. But I'm going to sit and chill for a bit and drink the rest of my coffee. Um, I didn't end up spilling it this morning so that was good. We got to drink almost all of it but it is a little cold so I'm going to finish drinking that chill out a bit and then i'll give you a tour of my stall and show you what that all looks like um, and show you the christmas stock and how i display that um, as i was mentioning i'm not sure where i stopped um, talking to you guys before i had the customers but yeah the christmas um board didn't turn out the way i wanted it because i didn't bring enough of the right hooks to display all the scrunchies the christmas scrunchies i bought so I'll show you what it looks like for this market and then we will fix that and get that prepped for um, properly prepped properly for our next market but yeah I'm just gonna sit chill for a bit and then I'll show you what you or what my setup looks like.
so this is what my store is looking like today i've obviously swapped out a lot of the winter stuff for our spring collection and then i've got our christmas stuff over here so i actually is that focusing so i actually had these in the um bunny e versions which i was meant to display up on this board but I didn't bring enough of these along with hooks. This is getting so blurry. But I didn't bring enough of these longer hooks to display the scrunchies. I only had these smaller um, S hooks for the makeup hair clips. So I actually wasn't able to display them today, which is a bit disappointing because I stayed up pretty late yesterday preparing them and getting them all packed for today. Um, I have a ton more of these hooks at home but yeah I just didn't think to pack um, some extra ones to display them so that is a bit of a shame we will need to sort that out for our next market but yeah so right now all of those Christmas scrunchies so it's essentially these ones with the tassels um, these Christmas scrunchies with the tassels on them um, which hang down on the ponytail and things and I was meant to display them in this section so that didn't happen today but that's okay our Christmas stuff is here so we might need to sew up some more but that's what we have at the moment they're our traditional Christmas range and then these are more of our kitty range these ones have Santa we are not focusing today so that one's pink Santa, this one's a checkered Santa, Santa and some holly. So that's our Christmas range. Then of course we've got our regular scrunchies here and then our clearance basket which I've topped up as well with some um, medium sized ones. Because usually this was just all the XLs so that's been topped up. And then over here we've got our regular scrunchies and then these are the kids ones and then of course our excels and then this is our spring summer range here which I've sewn up and just displayed them and then I've got a few of our fluffy fur winter scrunchies here because I've got a few of them left so I'll just display them on the board but it's looking a lot more brighter, a lot more colourful than compared to our winter colours. And then over here, we have our hair claws. And if you saw my last vlog, you would know I spilled half of my coffee on this tablecloth right in this section. Um, and I had to move, put the baskets, these baskets here to cover it up and then put my hair claws over there. So we have it the right way around today, but this is our range. So if you've seen my other vlogs, I used to have this wooden board that I used to lay out on the table and then I display the hair pulls on top of that wooden board. But I've recently changed up my display and got rid of, got rid of that um, wooden board. So I can fit a lot more hair claws on there now. They're a lot more spaced out as well and I think it looks a lot better. So this is how we'll be displaying our hair claws from now on. And then over here we have our chiffons, our linens and satins. And again, I've swapped out our um, winter colors, our winter scrunchies and patterns for our summer spring ones. So it's a lot more colorful now. These are new, the yellow, the pink, and then some beachy vibes over here. And then they're the XLs on the board. And then these are the regular scrunchies. So the baskets fit a lot more. So I've put in all the summer ones and then kept some of the winter ones as well. Just to keep it nice and full. And it fits way more than the board does. So we are able to do that. And then this is the Saturn basket. So that's what it looks like today.
if you saw my previous vlog, my previous market vlog, um, you would know that I've recently changed the display for those. I used to have them as part of our table display um, and then I display them on hooks. Um, each hook had a separate colour but um, our last market, I put them up on the um, board over here, if you can see that there. So they are a lot more visible and definitely on um, eye level as well. So the um, last market we were here when I had them displayed like this, they sold really, really, really well. And the board was um, pretty empty because I sold so many. So. Um, I topped it up a lot more um, today and displayed them in the same way. So I've already sold about one, two, three, four of them at the moment. And yeah, it's only 10.30, so it's been pretty good in, in terms of our sales and particularly for our scrunchies. I've also sold two of our Christmas scrunchies as well, two of our pink Santa ones. I nearly sold one of our green traditional ones, but she opted for a different scrunchie. Um, so yeah, so far I've sold two of our Christmas scrunchies as well, so pretty glad I brought those out as well because it was a bit of a rush late yesterday at around 11pm um, to pack all those, the Christmas and the spring collection as well, so glad I did that. Um, but yeah, um, so far so good with our sales, but I've already drunk all my coffee from the morning and I'm onto my tea already. So um, I'm gonna drink that and try and stay away because I've already yawned a couple times and yeah, pretty tired at the moment, but um, I will check back in with you all a little later on and give you all an update on the sales as well. Um, we might do a tour of the market, I'm not too sure, but yeah, we'll see. Um, there is a juice cart here who is blending some smoothies and drinks, so um, hopefully you can hear me above that, but I will check back in with you all in a moment.
Hi guys, we'll be interrupting this market vlog for a short sponsorship video. Um, Munbin has kindly gifted me one of their thermal printers. It's the 41941B Bluetooth printer that is a 300 dpi um, and one of their top range printers as well, their top range thermal printers. So we'll be testing out, um, we'll testing it out again today. We will be printing some um, labels to put on our bags that we hand out at markets for customers who purchase a bulk of scrunchies. So I'll be showing you all how I set up and use their printer, which is just there. They have kindly gifted me the pink one, which is super, super cute and goes with the theme and brand of my business um, and is almost the exact same color as our um, tissue paper and my market sign just there. So definitely matches our theme for the business um, being scrunchies and hair accessories, mainly for children and teens and things. We did test it out in our previous day in the life video and the quality is super nice. So um, we've got that printer all set up and ready to go for us to print our brand labels for our bags. Um, I'll bring out the bags and show you what we will be using. They're our standard um, brown craft carry bags for market so um, i'm gonna flip you guys around and show you what we're doing this is the munbin bluetooth thermal printer that um, i was gifted by munbin it's really cute really lightweight um, they also gifted me a whole very large stack of shipping labels here um, which we tested out in another video and printed these closures for our packaging so these I cut in half, so they each piece gives me two. And then I use them on our packaging boxes to close them. Um, the quality is really, really nice. Um, super clear, very black, really impressed. That is what the original looks like just behind there. That's what we will be printing today, but I'll get to that in a second. So um, yeah, the quality is really, really nice. And this is the Munbean paper that they gifted me for shipping labels. It's the exact same stack here. So we will be printing on these today. They look square, but however, they're actually round labels. And then um, using them to brand, whoops. Okay, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't want to turn around to work out what is falling right now. But we will be printing on these to brand our craft paper bags for markets. Um, this was a huge stack, so I've used this for quite a few things, but we will be printing this right here. I know it looks super, super big on screen, but um, it will fit this, which is about three inches or two and a half inches. So we are gonna get that all set up and get some printed and then um, brand our marker bag. So these labels are really small. If it... Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna hit print on here. Okay, let's do a test with four and see what that looks like. Okay, the quality is so nice. They come out a nice deep dark black. Get that to focus for you all. Okay, they're super cute. All right, I'm gonna grab our craft paper bags and then brand them for our markets. These are our craft paper bags that we hand out at markets. So I'm just gonna get these labels on there. Put it where you can see.
Okay, they turned out super cute. Okay, that's it for this sponsored section of the video. Thank you all for letting me interrupt our market vlog today and we will get back into the market. Okay, it's around 12, it's actually 10 past 12 at the moment. So just an update on our sales that have been pretty good. Um, not as good as they were in the morning, um, which is expected for these markets because it is a farmer's market, an early morning one. So. Um, it is a lot busier in the morning and then the trading kind of trickles down towards the afternoon so it will get a little quieter towards the end of the day and the afternoon but still pretty good um, considering what the trading has been like recently so definitely um, okay with the sales. Um, it is lunchtime at the moment obviously so a lot of the patrons are at the um, food stands at the moment and there's a whole bunch of seating area behind me this way and some that way as well next to the face painting so um, it's a little quiet for the retail at the moment because of the lunch period so I thought I would give you all an update now but yeah definitely our best seller has been our scrunchies today by far so um, and I've actually sold a couple more of our Christmas scrunchies as well just now um, a few minutes before I picked up the phone to give you all an update and I've also sold another one of our fluffy fur scrunchies so super super glad I decided to display them um, last minute this morning so that was pretty good um, I'm probably gonna grab some lunch really soon even though I did have my oats on fruit in the morning um, there is a whole heap of hot food vendors out today so we can have a browse but I'll most likely get what I got in my last vlog here which is an egg and sausage roll from the bacon and egg stand which is directly in front of me um, if you know I bought from them literally every single Saturday last year I was almost their first customer every single Saturday every single morning so um, I'm probably gonna grab one of those because they're super super yum but that is an update at the moment um, although it is um, scheduled to be 29 degrees Celsius today it's actually not really that hot it's pretty overcast so the weather's been pretty awesome and there's been um, some pretty good amount of patrons about because of that I was worried that if it was a too hot um, which the 29 degrees here in Sydney is pretty hot um, it would kind of deter some patrons from coming out but because we are under this very large fixed canopy um, a lot of patrons do still come out um, regardless of the weather especially because of the prestigious dance school and a whole bunch of other entertainment around the um, entertainment quarter so um, still been pretty good with the patrons but that is an update for now we will grab some lunch in about 20 minutes half an hour and then I will check back in with you all towards the end of the day maybe around 2 30 2 45 just before we begin packing down and the market begins to pack down but yeah that is an update and I will check back in with you all later on Oh, and I also need to um, tidy up my stall as well. It's gotten pretty messy from the morning rush, um, particularly the hair claws, because the way I display them out, um, I try to display them quite neat and evenly and orderly. But yeah, if um, yeah, when people kind of go through them to browse and things, they get a little messy. And yeah, when one's kind of out of whack, it throws them all out of whack. Um, and people's bags sometimes kind of knock a whole bunch around so yeah I will tidy up the whole stand particularly the hair claws and the scrunchy baskets and then I'll check back in with you all at the end of the day
traffic um, after lunch as well but myself I'm still pretty okay um, towards um, the end of the day so towards uh, after lunch so um, I haven't checked the total but it's been a pretty good day and I think just from the amount of sales um, it exceeded the amount that I made last time I was here um, and I made um, three sales in a row just before um, just about a couple minutes before I uh, picked up the phone to give you guys this update so um yeah i'm actually alone um waiting to purchase from me which hasn't happened in a really 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 long time so super glad um about that and hopefully it continues to pick up in terms of the trading um towards christmas and um for the christmas season markets um and the whole summer season as well so super hopeful for the trading to pick up but the scrunchies have been by far the biggest seller today i'm super glad i brought out the first scrunchies because they were still selling i sold six or five or six of my business scrunchies as well um two in the excels and then all the others were in the regular size so that was awesome I'm glad i um had them all yesterday pretty late at night it was around 11 p.m so um next market i'll be bringing uh, enough of the right hooks i hope you all hear me um bringing enough of the hooks to hang the rest of the christmas scrunchies up on the boards as well so they'll be um more eye level and more obvious that i have my christmas range out so we'll be prepping for that this week um to have them all ready for our next market but all in all the training has been pretty good today um and i'm pretty sure we exceeded the last time i was here as well but that is it for today i'll be ending off the vlog here thank you all for coming along with me to another one of my regular saturday markets today i hope you all enjoy spending the day with us i have a lot of market vlogs installed for you all and i also have a day in the life installed for you all as 